Hello, my name is Dr. Hari Naya. I am the executive chair of Agros and co-founder of the company. I am a hematologist by training and I have a PhD in medicine and clinical science. Agros is Australia's second plasma fractionator and the technology we use, the Hemafrac, is what is going to turn the plasma fractionation industry on its head. Plasma products are essential medicines for many Australians. Plasma comes from human blood and it, in Australia it's collected from volunteer donors. From plasma there are, are 3,000 proteins which can be purified, uh, fractionated and then used in the hospital system. However, the three main proteins that we concentrate on are immunoglobulins, albumin and also coagulation uh, factors like factor VIII. Immunoglobulins are proteins that are found in the body. They are antibodies which exist because of a certain disease state or because of uh, proteins that exist in protecting the body from disease. In the current context, immunoglobulins play a very important role. Using convalescent plasma, we can get antibodies for COVID-19. And the use of those antibodies or hyperimmunes in patients means that we induce a passive immunity or temporary protection for these patients uh, or for subjects so that they do not get COVID-19. Current plasma fractionation uses what is known as the cone onkley clyster nishman system, which is composed of a multitude of steps which take into account things like your pH, ionic strength, temperature, etc. The multitude of steps, which is very important, uh, create a situation where you can actually exaggerate losses so that the final product, in the case of immunoglobulin, only 50% is produced. Uh, and this is significant when we are talking about the use of these particular plasma products in industry. The Hemafrac system is a four-step system and is composed of one capture step. What it does is that it gives you very high yields and this, we believe, will take care of the shortage of immunoglobulins in our health system and most possibly in a global sense. Agros's Hemafrac system is an elect electrical environment system consisting of three membranes, one on the top, one in the middle and one at the bottom. Protein molecules are then charged using a buffer and in this particular instance the positive uh, immunoglobulin molecules are then transferred across the middle membrane into the lower stream towards the negative uh, electrode. The hemafrac system is a four-step process compared to the multitude of steps that's required for conventional cone. Now, in spite of that, what you get is a very high yield, very high purity and low running costs with minimal uh, impact on the environment. The 4,500 square meter Agros facility is sited in North Ride in Sydney. It is Australia's second plasma fractionator. It has recently been audited by the TGA and we have now got a fully-fledged GMP facility for the fractionation of human plasma. Self-sufficiency is a stated goal of both federal and state governments in Australia. In order to become self-sufficient, we need to have a technology with higher yields, higher purity, and a higher impact on our green environment. The Hemafrac is that particular technology. The National Blood Authority figures currently show in 2020 only 46% of Australia's requirements were met by production of plasma products in Australia domestically. Now, if Agros could get 100% of the plasma that is collected in Australia, we would be able to save the Australian government $42 million and this primarily because of the high yields of the Hemafrac system. The current COVID pandemic has forced us to concentrate on pandemic readiness. We have the alpha, beta, gamma 
and there's a, a lambda that we believe is going to be a mutation that will be of concern coming up. In order to be ready for the next pandemic, what we have is the hemofrax system, which is able to fractionate antibodies, hyperimmunes, from patients who are convalescing, who are getting cured of COVID-19. These antibodies have got a natural upgrade to their ability to induce passive immunity in subjects. That is how we are going to be pandemic ready for the next wave of a viral attack. The hemofrax system is the one-step fractionation system which will allow Australia to become self-sufficient. Agros's mantra is patience first through innovation.